लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ अकेडमी ऑफ बांग्ला आर्ट्स एंड कल्चर अबक वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू टू आवर सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल मदर लैंग्वेज डे लैंग्वेज इज द एक्वेस्टिक प्रोफाइल ऑफ द सोल लैंग्वेज इज द पेंट दैट फिल्स द कैनवस ऑफ ह्यूमन सोसाइटी विथ मैरिनेड ऑफ कलर्स If you talk to a man in a language he understands that goes to his head if you talk to a man in his language that goes to his heart this was said by no other than Nelson Mandela we have gathered here to celebrate the linguistic and cultural diversity all over the world on the occasion of international mother language day we have an eclectic mix of cultural performances to commemorate this day i'd like to call on stage our first keynote speaker joanna angela joanna is executive director of salmon center for the arts and the president of dallas cultural academy committee dacsc so joanna i'd like you to take the podium Thank you so much. I'm very honored to be here at this wonderful celebration. And I want to also say that we at the Salmon Center for the Arts are very very proud um to have as the newest member of our Salmon's Arts Center uh community, the Academy of Bangla Arts and Culture. Um I have known Mr. Rashid Hussain for more than 25 years and I have been so proud of the work that he has done and uh, very proud to be part of this program tonight. Um I am not a linguist so I am going to speak about an even more fundamental form of communication. Uh that is the um communication through arts and culture which is the beautiful mission of ABAC. Um I think everyone knows that we communicate across cultures and even across the ages through paintings, music, dance and of course the written word as well and theatrical performances um i think that uh something that separates us from all the other creatures of the earth is our ability to create uh music dance and art um and uh so i i just want to celebrate this wonderful organization and all that they do um you're going to see some wonderful performances tonight here's some beautiful music and i want to thank rashid hussain and the academy of bangla arts and culture for allowing me to say a few words tonight so thank you very much thank you joanna it was wonderful speech next our keynote speaker is dr clara henihosa she is the founding director of the mexico institute at university of texas at dallas Thank you very much. I did write some notes to give me um order in my mind. I um I'm honored and very grateful for being part of this very important event. My name, like he said, is Clara Inojosa. And here it's pronounced Clara Inojosa. <laughs> and i'm a founding director of the mexico institute it's a nonprofit organization dedicated to advance the knowledge understanding and appreciation of the rich and diverse culture of mexico we do it through artistic events and educational programs uh we at the mexico institute have celebrated for the past 32 years the day of the spanish language and we have brought some of our best writers from Mexico and Latin America i congratulate rashid and the academy of bangla arts and culture for this international day of languages as it is a great idea to unite us all with this theme 
We live in a country of immigrants, and it is so important to learn, understand, and respect different cultures, languages, religions, races, etc. Now, in the age of globalization, when technology has united us, it's very important to live in harmony. We are the human race. We need to stop classifying people. As one of Mexico's great scholars, Jose Vasconcelo, said, we are the cosmic race. Allow me to tell you about Mexico. We are the neighbors, but very different. Mexico is at least 3,000 years older than the United States. We have ancient civilizations which date back 11,000 years ago, such as the Olmecs. Even though it is the next door neighbor to the south, it's still not known by many in this country which many call America. But since that is the name of our continent, all the countries in Latin America, like Mexico, Venezuela, Argentina, we also call ourselves Americans, because that's our continent again. Since we're talking about languages, I must tell you that Mexico, in Mexico we have approximately 60 different languages and dialects spoken. And there used to be more, but they are disappearing. The reason, the Spanish is the official language because Mexico was conquered by Spain, but many Indian groups still speak their original language. I would like to mention that some of our immigrants that come here, they come from remote areas and they speak little Spanish. And you can imagine how hard it is because they go directly from their dialect to English. Some dialects are disappearing because they do not have a written form and has been passed verbally from generation to generation. For example, the Aztecs spoke Nahuatl. The Mayans in the South speak about 16 different forms of Mayan. In Oaxaca, they speak Zapoteca and Mixteco. In the center of Mexico, where I am from, Otomi and Purepecha. Some of these languages are based in symbols. Others had their own um, scriptures, you know. And when some of my brothers and I were little, my mother hired an Indian wo woman to help her with us. She was a Purepecha Indian and we learn her language. The Indians are also very mystical and poetic, and they reflect that. For example, she would wake us up saying, may the light of God shine upon you. And that is Nerandish Nipayani Pakaguama. It's a very different uh, language, as you see. She also taught us the poetic and mystical dimension of life. I invite you to notice the painting at the entrance of the Dallas Museum of Art called El Hombre, which depicts the connection of man with the universe. It was painted by Rufino Tamayo, an internationally known Zapotecan Indian. In Mexico City, there is a museum with his name, which he donated, and also one in Oaxaca. It is very important to know la other languages because it is like learning other philosophies. It helps us understand our own better, as it says on the invitation, the quote by the Spanish philosopher Ortega y Gasset, language is the acoustic profile of the soul. The more languages that we learn, the larger our universe gets. Thank you, that's all. Thank you, Clara, for your wonderful speech. Before we go over to our next speaker, I'd like to thank the audience. I know we have really bad weather, and in spite of that, you have taken the pain of coming here. Hopefully, next year, the weather will be better, and we'll have better attendance. Yeah. Again, we can do nothing against the weather. Our next speaker 
Monique Woodenburn, Director, University of Texas at Dallas, Asia Center. Ms. Widenborn spent her formative years in Mexico, Zaire, currently the, currently the Democratic Republic of Congo, Pakistan, and Thailand. So thank you for coming over and accepting our request to be our keynote speaker. Please. Thanks. I want to thank Rashad and IABAC for inviting me to be part of this panel on how language is an acoustic to your soul. I'm truly honored to be his friend and to take part in this important discussion. I want to, before I even get started, we only have about five minutes to speak, but I want to give a quick plug to the Asia Center. As you mentioned, I am the director of the UT Dallas Asia Center. It is a center that um, and works on increasing connection to, as well as understanding of Asia. Um, I'm proud to be the advisor of our um, Bangladesh, the UT da um, Dallas Bangladesh Student Association, who will continue this celebration on Friday night. So if your schedule is open, please visit UTD on Friday night. They have an amazing um, um, a continuation of what um, we're doing here this evening. Um, also, um, as part of the first Jaya lecture series, we're proud to um, host a Nobel laureate on April 24th. Um, Amartya Sen is going to visit us and, and visit our campus, as well as our community. So I ask that you please join the Asia Center and the university for that very important event. He's 80 years old, and he's coming to see us. So again, let's greet him well. As I began to think about what I would say this afternoon or add to the discussion, I thought I would examine the question of how language is an acoustic to your soul through a personal lens and then transition to an international perspective, a national international perspective, all in five minutes, I promise. <laughs> so, okay. okay, good, good. On a personal level, let me start by sharing with you a story that involves my daughter, and I share this with Clara in one of our discussions, previous discussions. All of us have had children, or at least young people, that have provided us with teachable moments or life lessons. I remember at the end of her junior year, my daughter, Kaylee, walks into this, um, our home and said she decided not to follow the traditional academic path and instead decided to take an advanced Spanish literature course. The usual barrage of questions from parents are, how does that look on your academic transcript? How does it affect your AP testing? On and on and on. And then she won. You know, she was going to have to sit through the course, and she was going to have to take the AP test. So you know, it was her and then her decision. Four weeks after the start of the semester, Kaylee walks in very emotional and shares the story of Juan Rulfo. No oyes ladras de los pedros. Los perros, no pedros, perros. No dogs, no dogs bark. And tearfully, she shares this beautiful story and tells the love of a father and the sacrifice and his undying sacrifice for his son. Now, while the content of the story is important, even more significant is Kaylee's decision to select a path that was above the understanding of the mechanics of language and beyond academics and instead to seek a path that chose enrichment through literature. She used the mastery of her Spanish language as a connection to her culture, to her two emotions, to beauties, and most important to the understanding of the burdens of a father for the acoustic of her soul. soul. We see this play out on a national as well as international level. Tagore in his song, Mind Without Fear poem and is translated from the original Bengali, um, mind without fear, where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into the fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches into arms through perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert, sand of death habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action, into the heaven of freedom. My father, let my country awake. 
So in addition, sort of the acoustic of soul, it also gives you, asks you, begs to ask the question, what gives you sort of national identity? Is it shared culture? Is it geography? Or is it language? We all see how the importance of language plays out. The establishment of International Mother's Day in 1952 when the students demonstrated estimated 2,000 language globally are dying, 50% of almost approximately 7,000 7, language spoken in the world are likely to die out in a few generations. But nobody says it more profoundly than the US, UNESCO Director General, Ms. Irina Bokava. When language fades, so does the world's rich tapestry of cultural diversity. Opportunities, tradition, memory, unique modes of thinking and expression, valuable resources for ensuring a better future are lost. And more importantly, the acoustic for soul is also lost. Thank you very much for having me this evening and congratulations, Academy of Bangra Arts. <laughs> Thank you, Monique, for that wonderful speech. Our last keynote speaker is Dr. Topeti. She is an author, educator, communications strategist, and proud mother. Originally from Tampico, Mexico, her first novel, The Sprout That I Sprung, focused on motherhood, contemporary parenting, and family communication. Alex Topeti will translate Dr. Tapiti's speech in English. Please. Buenas tardes a todos. Good evening, everyone. Es un placer para mí estar aquí. It's a pleasure to be here. Porque lo primero que tengo que decir es que el lenguaje es lo que nos ha reunido aquí y lo que nos ha traído a través del tiempo la evolución del hombre. First off, because the first thing to say is that language has brought us together here today and also has brought us through the course of time uh, in the evolution of man. El lenguaje es un don que podemos usar como arte para construir o como arma para destruir. Language is a gift that one can use uh, as an art to build, to create, or as a weapon to destroy. La importancia del lenguaje es que con él nos comunicamos. The importance of language lies in the fact that we use it to communicate. Somos los únicos seres vivos sobre la tierra que tenemos un lenguaje articulado y que debemos aprovechar. We're the only, we're the only beings on earth who use an articulated language and we must take advantage of it. Por eso dije que en la evolución del hombre, el lenguaje es lo más importante. Language has been the most important thing in the evolution of humankind. Sin el lenguaje, las sociedades no serían posibles. Without language, there wouldn't be any societies. No importa el idioma que sea. No problem the issue at stake. El lenguaje es lo que nos llevó a cinco pasos importantes en la evolución. El primero. Language led us to the first stages of evolution. Darnos la posibilidad de la supervivencia. ¿Con qué lo hicimos? Con el trabajo. First, it allowed for survival with work. Tal vez no podíamos expresarnos en la forma articulada que hacemos hoy en cualquier idioma. Perhaps we wouldn't be able to express ourselves in the articulated fashion that most languages or any language does today. Pero el trabajo nos llevó a necesitar comunicarnos unos con los otros para sobrevivir. But out of the need to work in order to survive, we had to communicate. Así surgió el lenguaje y yo quiero recordar siempre con esto al primer hombre que le dijo a una mujer, te quiero. And that meant that people had to 
develop language in order to communicate. And just think about the first man who said to a woman, I love you. Y fue posible la familia entonces, la primera constitución del ser humano para formarse como un ser civilizado. Then families developed, and that was the first stage in order for humankind to become more civilized. Una vez que el lenguaje empezó a evolucionar, el hombre tuvo tiempo de contemplar a su alrededor. Once language started to develop further, humankind was able to just contemplate everything around them. Y así surgió la religión. So religion developed. Una vez que tenemos la religión, podemos hacer surgir las relaciones entre unos y otros con mayor compromiso, con fe. Once religion happened, the relationships among people could develop further with more, com with more commitment and compromise. Contemplando el mundo, vimos cómo se sucedían los fenómenos de la naturaleza. La religión nos hizo preguntarnos por qué el sol, por qué la lluvia, por qué las personas, por qué los otros. Admiring the occurrences of nature, the sun, the moon, made us question why the sun, why the moon, why the storms, why people. Y al contemplar el mundo, empezamos a crear el arte, a recrearnos, a poder plasmar todo lo que el mundo nos ofrecía, estábamos desarrollando el lenguaje. And admiring the world led to the creation of art in order to recreate, represent everything that was around us and everything that, me, that was redefined by religion and that was a further development of language. Entonces, el trabajo primero, el lenguaje después, la religión y el arte nos llevó a conseguir la libertad. So work, language, religion, and art led us to find freedom. Quiero recordarles que la libertad es lo que nos hace ser personas cada vez más razonables. Si se nos agota la comunicación, nos volvemos un poco inquietos y entonces contestamos con agresión. Language, language allowed for freedom, and freedom is what makes us people that are able to be reasonable. When we lack the communication, we tend to answer more aggressively. Porque el lenguaje nos define. Because language defines us. El lenguaje nos hace expresar el sentir, el pensar y el hacer. Language allows us to express our feelings our thinking and our doing. Eso es la importancia del lenguaje y por eso empecé diciendo que era un don. That's why language is important and that's why it's a gift. Y recordemos que cuando nos comunicamos, quienes emitimos el mensaje, somos los responsables de que los otros nos comprendan. And let me remind you that when we communicate, we, the senders of the message, are responsible for making ourselves understood. Rediseñemos la comunicación en la aldea global del mundo. Let's improve the communication of the global village of the world. Con un diálogo humano entre civilizaciones. With a human dialogue among civilizations. Y recordemos que comun comunicación es hacer comunión con otro. And let's remember that communication means having something in common with others. Y por eso estoy convencida que el lenguaje es un arte. That's why I'm convinced that language is an art. Y solo este podrá rescatar al hombre del siglo XXI. Muchas gracias. And only language will save humankind in the 21st century. And thank you. Thank you, Dr. Topeti. Thank you, Alex, for that wonderful translation. This was a small part, small effort on our part to commemorate the occasion of International Mother Language Day. 
Thanks to all our keynote speakers. We'll take a short break, followed by an eclectic mix of cultural performances. Thank you. Thank you.